Remember our time at the Emirates Stadium and the yeah. London Stadium? Yeah. That, that was quite a good one. The London Stadium was great, actually. No. No. Um, like, look, I've been to a few stadiums around. Yeah. I think I always say this. I, I was joking with the people at TalkSport that the London Stadium probably has the best Wi-Fi I've enjoyed. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Charlie, the Wi-Fi is crisp. Of course. It doesn't break. Nana. Uh, uh, you know, everything you want to do, mm. I think it's 5G, actually. Uh, yeah. Are you sure it's, what we have at uh, Terminal 3 is not better? Don't do that. Okay, sorry. Don't do that. I retract and apologize. <laughs> yeah, Charlie, it was, it was really good. I mean, the whole sense of... Um, uh, family go to watch the game like so like people take their football yeah. seriously man. and it was a Sunday bro it was like you see the way they emerge from uh, the, the, train, the underground the substation they, they, they come together like Argh! yeah Charlie that, that feeling is back you know like Premier League football yeah. does not I don't know it leaves some emptiness in you when it ends yeah. like you know it's like a nine month cycle yeah. where yeah. when you begin <laughs> you're all excited yeah. uh, even even the people whose teams have not performed well. Yeah. Even they are looking for they it. Look forward so to so it. before before we even get into in-depth conversation, just yeah. give them a sense of what is about to come. Thank you. I love it. That's the feeling. It's powerful. No, me, I am looking for a team to support. Because you know, I'm one of those I'm oh, one of those few guys who Let me give you a good team to uh-huh. Manchester United. Is that so? <laughs> Pristine condition. Is that so? Prist- they've just been taken over by a billionaire by name Sir Radcliffe. Okay. You know, in no, coaches. He, he didn't Sir take over. He got 25%. Oh, it's, it's the same thing. He's, he's not part owner of United. He's part owner <laughs> of United. He's, he's part of the reasons why the team can smile going so, forward. So he's pumping money into oh, the system. Oh, yes. Single digit billionaire. My God. According to Coach Nimi, he's a single digit billionaire. In fact, before him, yeah. I didn't know billionaires were qualified. Like, I didn't know you had to qualify it's the billionaire. First I've heard. Charlie, it says the guy single is a digit. single digit billionaire. Anyway, United is a good place to be. You know, Red Devil, Red Army, Ten Hag. Don't, 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 it's a very t- traumatizing experience. So if you are ready, I, I for, if you are ready for the trauma, yes. then no problem. I, I'm Let's not ready go. for any heartbreaks. Girlfriend, is Manchester a good advice from Nathan? Is that a good thing? Girlfriend is a United fan. Nathan is a United fan. Oh, the both of them are United Pastor fans. Pastor Chikata is a United fan. Fred Jabano is a United fan. I see. If United is a bad entity yes. or a bad franchise... Yes. I leave the rest. You can, you can make your own. Judgment. So, which other team shouldn't I try at all? At all? Ipswich. <laughs> because we are going Ipswich. back down. Charlie, Chelsea. Chelsea, yeah. Charlie, don't try. Judan can't hey, be happy. Charlie, you want to get mauled this oh, morning? Don't try. Charlie, 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 have you ever seen a team where uh, there was a time where players were changing on the corridors of the team? Like, Corridors, oh, that's why they're changing. Oh, Nana Jai, and you're a Pado, Charlie Pado. What's up? Oh, Pado, team, team, you my ma. Like, they, they, they had to train in two batches. You're like, that, that's how we're on the shift. You know, Double track. The irony about Chelsea is that <laughs> Chelsea is in the rich side of London, like, right. you know, west, on, yes, in the, at the west. So, you expect that like things are a little more. You know, premium proper than uh-huh. the, your average Premier League. Yeah. Right, and, on double track, and, and it was like that, like during the Abramovich era, and then things switched around. Right now, they say they have forty-three players. Yeah, 43. On their books. Fifty-three. Wow. Wow. Ah, man, wow. that's that's wow. like that's like what Accra had to folk and Asante Kotoko used to do, like some seasons back. They they wow. release twenty players and then they will bring in another thirty. That's what Chelsea is doing right now. So, <laughs> as far as the Premier League is concerned, Chelsea for, is not in good here, standing. No, they are not in good standing. Mm. But they'll they'll tell you that it's a project. If in fact if you listen to Edwin Kwakofi, <laughs> yes. you would think that Chelsea is the next best thing since but it's not. like Edwin can stand on the platform and hype the club. He, eh? Edwin can sell ice to Alaska when he's talking about Chelsea. My God. I'm telling you. <laughs> I was listening to him. <laughs> very I was listening to him 15 minutes ago. Charlie, I was like, hey. <laughs> you'll be shocked that it's Chelsea he's talking about. Yes. That's, that's, what, that's what's going on. But you see, the Premier League is, like I said, it's starting tonight. Right. Tonight, it's um, a game at Old Trafford between United and Fulham. Mm. That's how we are raising the curtain. Super. And you know, out here, what we do is sell the audio experience. Yeah. Now, I've had people basically tell me that the talk sport experience here yeah. or the commentary is so good and so detailed Sweet. that sometimes they actually turn off the volume on their TV. So they can and enjoy so they can, this one. So they're their visual, watching their visual good, thing, and then but they're they listening to the commentary. Wow. And then some, some people basically also tell me that they would, they would prefer to listen to our analysis right. than the in-studio analysis. Basically because sometimes the in-studio analysis has players who have affiliations. And Ooh. if you have affiliations, sometimes so, it's... Af- it's it's a little difficult to to be objective, mm. and so a lot of the 
analysis can be a little skewed. So yeah. as far as the Premier League is concerned this season, we want you to understand that your car experience is going to be top notch. And, and and that's that's it really for us. I, love I mean it. Most people are on the move on the weekend, yeah. if you know. Yeah. Funeral yeah. here, yeah. wedding there, True. naming ceremony there. True. So you need to be able to catch your favorite team, mm -hmm. I mean, while you are in transit. Sometimes True. it's not even the whole game that you want to catch. Yeah. You just yeah. want to get like... Highlights and important good. comments. And, and the good thing about talk sports is when the games end, or even sometimes when the games are going on, mm -hmm. you get what you call a go flash. So they take you to another venue where you can catch up with what's happening at that game. Right. You get little... So you're shopping different areas. Every, everything is happening. Goodness. Everything is happening at once. So it's absolutely brilliant. Let me just give you, I mean, what the, 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 the Premier League feel for this season is like, and then we can continue. Go talking. ahead. Talk Sport Live on City FM. The best league in the world deserves the best coverage in the world. The home of the beautiful game is on City FM. What a strike! Don't miss a second of the action with the exclusive on-demand free football service from TalkSport Live at TalkSport.com. From kickoff to extra time, get unrivaled commentary, professional analysis and expert opinion from TalkSport's dedicated global super squad. Follow your team, show your support and experience the passion of the Premier League. No, it's got in the net! Every kick... Every goal, every great moment, available on demand and for free from TalkSport Live at TalkSport.com. Don't miss a kick, flick or trick from the greatest league in the universe with full match commentary of every single game in the English Premier League. Oh, it's in! The home of the beautiful game is on City FM. So that's the flavor, and um, um, Benjamin and Katia. That's what we're expecting. A lot of yep, exciting yep. moments, De right? Detailed, on Ooh, point commentary. Joy. Yeah, like I said. So you, you just heard the um, snippets of what Talksports um, feed to. So it's pre-game analysis. Yep. Um, that's what we do basically on Friday. So if you listen to Sports Panorama, you get the preview. So if you are looking, for instance, for um, what your favorite clubs have been doing. Yeah. That's a good place to tune into. You get all the breakdown of all the behind the scenes action with the managers um, and all of that going on. And then for us here, mm -hmm. uh, like we rightly said, um, there are a lot of football matches, over 250 matches actually wow. this season. Really so this 380, 80, yeah, 380 80. matches. Yes. 380 yes, across yeah. the season. Yeah. But obviously we can't broadcast everything yeah. because for instance, on the, on a Saturday, yeah. we do three games. Sometimes we do four games based right. on the um, how the, the schedule is. Right. And then we have action from the Carabao Cup mm -hmm. and also the FA Cup in between. We do also do midweek matches. So, it, for Ooh. instance, for game week one, there's already a midweek game. Right. Um, yes, so Monday there's a Tottenham. Night. Yes, there's a Monday night game. Tottenham will be in action. Uh, so we'll be doing that for you as well. So Mondays, Wednesdays, sometimes even Wednesdays, uh, Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Typically, we have Premier League football, so you will be seeing my face <laughs> a lot this season. But like, like I said, um, for for those of you who always worry about not being able to catch your favorite team play, this is why we are here. Mm. You know, you can't carry your TV into your car. No, you um, can't. Only the most sophisticated cars can have you have a screen that will let you watch. So you can um, tune into live radio commentary. You get the best of analysis as well. Yeah. And then I also have noticed that we have a certain audience. So sometimes when I'm like driving out, I'm trying to buy food or you drive to a fuel station and they've opened up their woofer. Right. You know, Charlie, the Premier League is going on. I'm yeah. like, yeah, Charlie, that's, that's what it is. And you know, so you know what's funny about this? I've just so gotten clean. up to go and buy food. Like, half time, <laughs> like, you go buy oh, food. And then, you know, while like... You, while you leave to go get some food, yeah, people listening. You know, you know, there's, like, yeah. action going on. And yeah. somebody will meet me and be like, Charlie... And I'm like smiling and looking at him like, yeah, I was just behind the console, but they don't know. But that's what it is. Um, yeah. The community Premier League experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah,
the best of the best. So we had to expect crisp analysis, detailed, every angle, mm-hmm. everything covered. Mm-hmm. Nice mm-hmm. one. I yeah. love it. Go for it. Yeah, I mean, my favorite part is uh-huh. how people, you know, put their frustrations on the crew in the studio. It's one of the best parts of the city <laughs> broadcast of the Premier League. <laughs> And you Nathan get that a lot. You are everybody's enemy. You yeah. know, people who are listening in their cast, they are listening. Mm-hmm. They're like, get that, get that, get that. What is he saying? This analysis, yeah. you know. Yeah, but I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And then also the feedback from the messages. I think our listeners have the best nicknames. Right. And all the nicknames are doing. Okay. <laughs> you only get that. You only get that with yeah. the experience mm-hmm. of listening to us right. um, during the Premier League season. Yeah. So there is a lot that comes with this it's fun mm-hmm. it's a good it's a very unique way to consume the premier league football yeah. and you can catch it everywhere look yeah. i've seen people who are at funerals yeah. who run away from funerals wow. as maybe you know the funeral they, they wipe are, their tears to go to some weddings yeah. or they are yeah, the social they, function yeah. they look at the church they look at the program once you give them the program yeah. they look at the thing they're like okay so at this, this one, part I, so I, I they go and sit in the car turn listen up if it gets to a part, part where they are needed they go back into yeah. the uh, the hall or the trail for whatever it is that they are doing and then join. So, like, for this to be back, mm-hmm. you know, starting tonight, yeah. completely amazing. But I want to ask you, Ketia, like, uh, is this... Uh, oh, says, how do you feel listening to Benjamin talking sports? <laughs> okay, I'll answer that question later. <laughs> but I wanted to ask you, Ketia, yeah. uh, have, is, is there anything new with mm-hmm. our crew for analysis? Okay, so basically what's new with the crew for analysis is we'll be bringing in fans, actually. Um, Yes, so you want to improve the fan experience as much as possible. You want the fans to feel as close to the action Mm. as possible. And so we'll bring in uh, from your everyday fan to your... Um, slightly popular, slightly eccentric fan. You know, they are... It's more of the fan groups, good. Right? Are, so the, the supporter the, the, groups. The fan groups are completely exciting. And I, I am... <laughs> I'm interested in telling you that the Manchester City group in Ghana is actually threatening to overtake a lot of the traditional teams in support base as far as this country itself. Really? I thought they were a single digit support nana, base. Nana, you, are, you, are, you are lost. <laughs> you are no longer a single digit support base. You it used to be only Ojo. Sure. In fact, in fact, hold on. During the during the season end, right? Yeah. The last time, during the FA Cup final, I remember, at the Accra Digital Centre, they held a viewing party over there. It was an overflow. And when they won the game, like you should have seen when they lost the game, it was sad. But when they won the season, they had another one there. It was it was pandemonium. Like you, you should have seen the people. I'm like, ah, we did a report, and I'm like, are you sure these are Manchester City? Yeah, these are Manchester City fans. They have their own, you know, flag and everything. Yeah, they, they, yeah. they are basically affiliated to the official club. So last year, when Julian Lescott was down here, they did some charity work. They went out to the central region to mm. uh, do their stuff there. So they are they are really like but for, for for us. We'll mm-hmm. bring the OG first. OJ, the original ah, Manchester City, City, City fan. <laughs> Before he will open no. the OJ, OJ, floor OJ, here. OJ, OJ is a serious fan. Like yes. when, I remember when they won the title last two seasons. Before there were fans, there was OJ. Kali, he would send me some Bernardo Silva video and say, "Enjoy Bernardo." <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and talking about talking about the the coverage, of course, there are there are other things that support the coverage. So the Premier League preview show on on television mm-hmm. supports the coverage. Airs every Friday afternoon, four pm mm. to five pm. I I host that show mm-hmm. with some very interesting guests. Um, as well, and then the, the podcast. Last season we had the podcast. The podcast is, is coming back. So yeah. all of those things support the live coverage of the Premier League, which starts tonight, seven PM, Old Trafford, Man United versus Fulham. Mm. What was up? Welcome. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Great to see you. Yes, sir. Senior Abonte yes, Father. Yes, sir. Of course, so. Has Namibia. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've entered Has Kigali. One. We've entered Kigali now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The senior Abonte <laughs> Father. You know, in Kenya, it's a You know that where he's going next? Morocco. <laughs> Hey! No, you must put me in your suitcase. Hey! Yes, I'll quite fair and put me I thought you and I started this together. Hey, Mejao. Oh, Mejao. Mejao, Mejao. Good good welcome. Thank you. I'm, 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 I'm shopping for a team to um, support. This shopping? Trip, yeah, me, me and support it in the air. It's now that I'm looking for one. Then they don't. said I should try no, then my don't. test. But they said Arsenal too is a very good no, don't. Enjoy your peace. <laughs> <laughs> so I told you. You don't know what it comes with. See, when we went to the Emirates Stadium, you know, when they scored a goal, the grounds literally shook. 
There was so much excitement. And, well, and, the I'm experience like, that they sell oh, and, oh. and every look, football is football everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but you bring value if you package it well. Mm. Um, if you package it well yeah. and you are able to deploy um, you know, people with knowledge in the space, yeah. then you are bringing value. True. And it, it has so much economic value. Mm. Look, the people in the Arab states, they are not, they are not stupid. At all. To be when investing, they, to so, be investing much. so much yeah. in football. You know what it does to their youth development? Mm -hmm. Amazing. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because drugs yeah. was at, at, at the point of taking over their youth. And all sorts of behavior. Yeah. Yeah. Look, 10 years ago, if you went to some of these Arab states, it, because they didn't have avenues for expression, Equation car involved. racing among youth was mm -hmm. the biggest menace. <laughs> and wow. accidents on their streets. Yeah. Okay, Football has taken over and they are investing into it. Yeah. Because the English people sat down one day and said, ah, these German people are using all sorts of ways to market football. Meanwhile, we are the originators. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Yeah. Let's <clears throat> package our Premier League, mm -hmm. uh, our, our league. Mm -hmm. then repackaged it, marketed it, sold it mm -hmm. TV rights, mm -hmm. and boom. <clears throat> it started a new phase of English football. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I used to be a Queen's Park Rangers. <laughs> QPR. <laughs> yeah, that's serious. <laughs> I used to be a, a Queen's Park Rangers supporter. You know, because, <laughs> because we, we lived we lived in Stonebridge <laughs> Park. Right. Uh, you know, two mm. stops away. Right. And that was a the closest <laughs> you know. yeah that's the and sense of community you feel that's yeah, the team yeah, you grew yeah, up around qpr is playing is a big deal yeah mm. and, no, right. yeah and and then uh Arsenal came begging because <laughs> 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 yeah but I, you know because I, I just followed uh one of my friends in the estates yeah who who had staff doing um at the wembley stadium, wembley stadium mm -hmm. because we lived very close to wembley stadium. Mm -hmm. so he, he will go, Eric will collect brothers mm -hmm. and go and do ball catching when they are doing training yeah, and things. Yeah. And Charlie, one day I went, he said, oh, he has tickets, let's go. Mm -hmm. And then Arsenal was playing some Swedish uh, team. This was in, uh, oh, 91, mm -hmm. there about it. Wow. No, not 92, mm -hmm. 93. That's I forget the time. I forget the date. But anyway, Arsenal beat the people ah, that are converted. From <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. That, but that time too, QPR yes. had gone to bring these Swedish guys, Roy yes. and all these guys who were playing for QPR, uh, you know. And Charlie, oh, yeah. they, they went on relegation. <laughs> <laughs> so, me, I moved and Charlie. And fortunately, when I moved, I came. Ah, and Charlie, it took change, us from there. Things <laughs> change. You know, things uh, change. Yeah. But, but what we are doing yeah. is... Um, what we created mm -hmm. is a commentary yeah. of the English Premier League. Right. And this is something you don't radio get anywhere else. Commentary. You don't, don't get, get this radio anywhere commentary, else. Yeah. which we created as City here. Shop, shop, shop. We created it ourselves. I love it. Although we don't have the rights. <laughs> 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 you know, we had to create it mm -hmm. when the, the GFA at the time they banned us from, from covering from local the matches. Ghana Premier League, yeah. Oh. When Nyantechi was the boss, I will not stop saying this thing. It was so painful. <laughs> Every year you you remind me. Yes, yes. when school at the time, I used to come. <laughs> yeah. We Thomas carried our things to so go and do the stadium, and they threw our things away. <laughs> that they have given the right to some uh, two stations. Pet. Nobody should come near the thing. I sat down and said, "These people." We'll find a way around it. Yeah. So, so a lot of people say, "Oh, why aren't you covering local, yeah. local yeah. league?" And you are going, story uh, "This it. is why like we this ended why? up here." Wow. <laughs> we like we liked covering it, but you didn't want us to cover it. They, yeah. they yeah. threw us away from yeah. the stadium with our things like that. So we went to England, got this thing, and it came home. The rest wow. says history. That's how. That's why we do what that, we do. It's but it's offered. Look, we cover up to three hundred matches every year. Wow. Up to of the 380 games, mm -hmm. we cover up to 300 yeah, every year, wow. mm -hmm. and we cover up to six matches every week. Oh yep. God! Yep. Live commentary from the English Premier League, from the English FA Cup, mm -hmm. and, and then the Carabao Cup, Car still Carabao. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The, the League Cup. The League okay. Cup. Yeah. So we have all these three yeah. that we and it offers live stadium experiences. That's right. So. 
if you are mm. listening to me and you are in the FMCG space mm -hmm. and you are even real estate, you mm -hmm. know, any service that you mm -hmm. offer or product is a good opportunity yeah. for you to, tap to into come the, on the as the a sponsor. Yeah. Hmm? yeah, Because you have thousands of young people, mm -hmm. young adults, yeah. mm -hmm. older people yeah. listening in their vehicles, in pubs, yeah. in uh, community centers. Yeah. And in fact, somebody was telling me that the only thing that stands between him and funerals on weekends is the English Premier League commentary on City. <laughs> True. So, so wow. if he's traveling, wherever he's traveling, he's tuned, he's in. tuned in till he wow. gets to his destination. Solid. You understand? So it provides a certain experience. Even churches gather to listen. Oh, oh well, why not? For critical matches, yeah. I can, somebody I can. will step out. I'm telling you, somebody will step out to go and catch the score of what his team is doing. And, and then, then come back. Go back into the church. So you better thing. just have the exactly. service around the thing, exactly. right? Exactly. exactly. So look, if you are if you are into any business yeah. and you want to see how your business can benefit from the English Premiership mm -hmm. commentary yes. on CTFM, yes. uh, there's a number I'll give you to call. Right. It's zero two four four five seven eight one six one. Zero two four four five seven eight one six one. Okay. Uh, call this number. Okay. Let's discuss how you can be part of the uh, English Premier League commentary, which we have just launched this morning. Mm -hmm. And as we said, we are going to in the next one year from August this weekend. Yep. That's tonight. Yep. Yep. All the way to May of next year, mm -hmm. we are bringing you wow. up to 300 games, live games wow. on CTFM. And um, it's our invitation for you to be part of this experience. Yep. Apart from the live games that you're going to hear, um, Ben talked about the uh, community engagements through our Premier League road shows, yes. where we pick specific uh, pubs and, and venues. Uh, community centers, we uh, gather, listen to the um, premiership uh, commentary together mm -hmm. and network and, you know, have mm -hmm. fun. So sharing the experience of the English Premier League, yeah. it's football yeah, and it's the passion of young people. Yeah, and so um, I'm, I'm talking to advertisers here yeah. to come on board yes. and let's make it real. Yeah. Mm. No, no, no. Talking about that, right? Yes. There's one more community we can't abandon as far as the Premier League Tell is concerned. That's it. the Fantasy League community. Yeah. Huh. Now, here at City, I'm, 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 I'm a little head that Bernard is not here because Bernard is the in-house FPL champion. Okay. Is he, he, he doesn't brag about it a lot, but... That's that's how good he is. In fact, the last time I think he won the in-house league and then he donated his prize money challenge. <laughs> no, that's, no, that's how wow. crazy it was. But the the main city FM fantasy league has averaged over twenty five thousand people per season for the last five years. Wow. Over twenty five thousand people. I mean, if you are wow. looking to advertise, this is a gold mine for you. Yeah. Honestly, for yeah. anybody who wants to tap into this one and for last year's winner mm -hmm. of the fpl uh we have something for you so tonight please do tune in wow. um all those who are in the city fm fantasy league tune in for tonight's game Sweet. uh we'll, we'll be announcing a few special plans for uh the fantasy league as far as this season is concerned and also on sunday mm -hmm. we are opening the season with a bang Nice we one. are opening the season with a bang. Our good friends at Plus233. Big shout outs to uh, all the people at Plus233, Uncle Juni, um, Adote, and the guys. You guys are absolutely amazing. Like, you know, it's it's very seamless whenever we have to wow. do stuff for them. Wow. It's, they are just a five minute conversation away, wow. and we can make things happen. And talking wow. about the experience, when you go to Plus233, the screen is one of a kind. You Sweet. know, plenty of people are joining, joining different pixels yeah. and things. Yeah. To, no, 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 no. It's just one <laughs> giant screen Sorry. just to give you a solid experience and the audio experience will literally immerse you like you mm -hmm. think you are in the stadium mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that, that's the thing it about that feeling oh nana yeah. charlie sometimes football fans can get carried away by the mm -hmm. audio experience you think you're actually at the match venue so this sunday yes it's a road show that's our first road and it's show. happening at plus two plus three, three. Two, three. Tell it's you our first road show of the season yeah you know the boss of plus two three three right mm -hmm. you know, when, when namibia he didn't come he was there with us Italian. We're having a good time, but yeah. you continue. It's okay. Right now, right, right now, you are literally trying to remind me of my. Of my of, I don't even know why he's doing this. I don't. I don't know why he's doing oh, yeah. this. But that's the truth. So it's, yeah. a, it's a Man City and yeah. Chelsea game. Chelsea Super. are at home uh, for Chelsea that one. And if you don't believe, mm -hmm. 
that Manchester City's fans are taking over. Come and see for yourself on Sunday. Very important. I'm, I won't talk, but just come and see for yourself. Very important. For the advertisers, the number is 0244. For, for those who want to sponsor, the number is 0244-578-161. 0244-578-161. And then we are good. Join us. Call this number. Let's have a conversation. But what's the uh, Fantasy League code, though? You yes. Got it here. Yes. Hold on a second great, for great, me. Let me great. pull that out for well, you, you right do that, about now. Yes, I have it here. Great. Good. Tell so me it's it. six one one mm-hmm. O capital L seven. Let me do that again. Six one one O O capital, capital L, L and seven. seven. We'll, we'll have this on our social media handle. So okay. the main City ninety seven point three handle, the right. City Sports handle, right. and the Channel One TV Everywhere you go. Uh, handle. So 6-1-1-0-1-7. you can six one one zero one seven. Yeah, very important. We have some messages that have come through, Nathan. Okay, uh, this one is from our very good friend, uh, Coach Christopher Nimli. <laughs> he says, "Please tell uh, my boss, Papa, that Arteta caused me serious harm from his pocket by not winning last season." Okay, and he's asking if uh, Samens would support the sacking of Arteta if he doesn't win the league God again. Forbid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lambert in Dodoa. <laughs> says, <laughs> I, 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 I'm no, I, I, I'm sure somebody is faking Coach, coach Nimli. <laughs> <laughs> ah, coach Nimli, pa, knowledgeable Coach Nimli is talking about sacking Ateta yeah. at this time. <laughs> anyway. The brightest spot since Asim Wenger. He's even threatening to break Asim Wenger's records. <laughs> <laughs> Lambert in Dodo said, As for QPR, they'll never come back to the Premier League. Oh, they don't even want to. <laughs> <laughs> for allowing Aguero to score the last minute goal in 2012, it's not 2010. Yeah. This is in 2012. 12. This one says, um, okay, it's quite a long one. Effectively saying that women need to understand that men watch football for several reasons. That is therapy. Okay, mm. interesting stuff there. This one says, uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, why, Kwame from Adina, why are you doing this? <laughs> He's saying that guys, Papa Sam has to show us his jersey plug. I can't seem to get my size. That's a legit question. <laughs> well, but we also don't know your size. <laughs> <laughs> this one says, Oh my god. Yes, Kofi Esquire in Castle says, Oh Charlie, uh-huh. we the fans with a single digit billionaire yes. are hopeful this year. Twist Kokakra. Mm-hmm. One smooth, one chaff kakra. Yeah, man. Michi Goro and Michi Tula will make things nice. <laughs> All right. Toby Dobu says, I hope Man United fans won't come and give us any excuse about injuries. Hence, they didn't do well. For us, Chelsea, we know what we experienced last season. So we want to have as many players as possible to take care of that. But you can only register so many, so... Uh, Chelsea have 53 players. <laughs> okay, let, let, me do a quick, let me do a quick correction on the FPL code. So sure. it's 6110 capital L7. Yeah. Six, not not O, so zero. Okay, zero, zero. right. Yeah, 6110 L7. Right. That's the uh, correction. So like I said, we'll have it on our various uh, social media handles so those who miss it here can probably catch up. What, what will be your top four predictions for the season? Oh, I think so. Um, good one. Um, we did a season preview on Channel One TV. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll be repeating that so those who missed out on it can uh, enjoy it. But I have Arsenal winning the league. Okay. I have Liverpool finishing second. Ah. Of what winning what? Arsenal. Ah, Master, you to go and do your Arsenal own predictions. Arsenal winning the league. <laughs> Liverpool. Arsenal winning the league. Liverpool he's second. Manchester City. He's been in the game longer than me. <laughs> oh, is he? Is he? So he should be concerned no, about his own club. Trick. I want him. To, <laughs> I want him to bring his team into the picture. <laughs> Arsenal, Arsenal Liverpool, Liverpool, Man City. Man City. Man United. Where would West Ham be in this? West Ham. Ham I, I think West Ham will be mid table, somewhere mid table, okay. seventh, eighth, ninth, thereabouts. Okay. Yeah. Nathan, your top four predictions? Not in any order, though. Right. Arsenal, Man City, Liverpool, Man United. Ah, Godfrey. Eh? <laughs> Manchester United. Okay. Is it ah. in that order? No, in no particular oh, order. No, in no particular order. But I'm starting from single digit billionaire association. <laughs> <laughs> so Manchester United. Liverpool. Okay. City. Okay. Aston Villa will repeat. Ah. Or oh, you feel Villa will repeat? Villa will four. repeat again. In the top four. Oh yes. Ah, so where's Arsenal in your top four? Oh, I I said Arsenal will be top four. What is your problem? Hey, Charlie. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, but Anthony from Bowie sends a message. He says, Arsenal's match against Liverpool revealed to me that nothing has changed from last season. They won't win. Hmm. Anthony says they won't do yeah, it. You know? No, it's preseason. You can't. You can't be making Coming projections sure. of preseason matches. <laughs> yeah, Charlie, Coming he's sure. being consistent <laughs> because in the last three years, nobody gave Asna any chance anyway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so he's just being consistent. A <laughs> champ. <laughs> yeah, but somebody was asking what times. I mean, somebody is actually asking what times uh, will be airing the, the games. Okay, so so um, the clocks. <sighs> do change but yes. now we're at 11 30 so mm-hmm. games kick off early kickoff is at 11 30. Right. so tomorrow um saturday um we'll be here from just about 11 o'clock 11. um to give you some 30 minutes of breakdown before the game and then we'll get into the game itself we'll okay. give you um 30 minutes after the game and then we'll open the phone lines or we'll activate the phone lines okay. so you can share your thoughts with us after games okay. and then sundays um we have our first game at 1 p.m okay. and then the chelsea manchester city game is at 3 30 so right. um right after church you can join us at plus two three three on monday the game is at 7 p.m and so uh mondays what will happen these days is that because of eyewitness typically we don't have a lot of time right. but these days we are going to negotiate with the eyewitness people they must give us like <laughs> 30, to, no. 30 to 45 minutes okay. to to break down games we'll, yeah. also, we'll also be making appearances <laughs> here Zabano is looking at you like this yeah, I, know, I know he always look at me like that but he's in the window <laughs> it's what it is I can see his face in the window <laughs> no it's what it is that's what it is if I'll be disturbing Caleb and Bernard a lot more also on the breakfast show we'll, we'll be we'll be popping up I mean, every every time there's a weekday or midweek game, uh, just so our listeners know exactly what's going on. And you That's know, cool. there's a thing about the broadcast that I like. Mm. There's nothing, nothing is more exciting than early kickoff jinx. Charlie. And Nikatia is the, is the king of, of the, the early, early kickoff, kickoff agenda. agenda. <laughs> Nobody on planet Earth beats Nikatia on early kickoff agenda. Benjamin but, but Nikatia. Another kickoff tomorrow, thing that I should uh, mm-hmm. point out mm-hmm. is the, the, the company we work with as Talk Sports. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One of their most exciting experiences is when they hear from Ghanaians. Oh, yeah. Oh, they love it. Yes. The messages, yeah. the messages they get from, from Ghana. Yes, yes, oh, yes, yes. wow. When, when they do the commentary and they read, they, the, I mean, they, are, they are so there, happy. In fact, they, they even mention a name of somebody. Random. Who, Someone who yep, takes who, off. Yep. Right, 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 right. Have, so have you met this guy? Oh, wow. I say, who? <laughs> <laughs> I don't we are not in a compound house. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. It's, it's a big house. It. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a important. big house called Ghana. Yeah. Yes. Th- th- there's yeah. a message here. Let me read this and I'll use this to clarify a point. Okay. Something I get every season. Right. This one says, My Saturdays are usually boring without the Premier League on City FM. I've painstakingly counted the days throughout the two-month break. I can't wait to get started. My only problem is the inability to tune in on the online platforms and online radio apps when I'm not close to um, and FM radio. That's that's the thing. The coverage is not. We don't stream the coverage. Okay. It's not part of our online offering because okay. it, that's not the agreement we have with Talksport. Ours is to give you radio commentary. Mm-hmm. So if you Saturday you are out and you turn on tune in and you want it, you will not get the commentary. Mm-hmm. I have people. That's who, a different. Rate, that's a different. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. it's a different thing. So I have people who text me and the category. You know, somebody once called me. I answered the phone. The person was upset <laughs> that there was no. I said. But there's commentary. I'm listening. He said, me, I'm not getting... I said, where are you? He said, oh, on my tuning. I said, it won't work on tuning. Yeah. Then I had to explain to the no, person. No, no, no. Uh-huh. No. So, so it only, only works on a conventional radio set. Right. So please keep that in mind right. as you follow us this season. Thanks for that clarity. Pandemic. Very good clarity. Yeah. We- More messages are in. We'll be reading them. All right, everyone's from Adenta. He says, the only reason I use a YAM phone Mm. in addition to my iPhone Mm. is because of the Premier League commentary. The analysis is uh, uh, top-notch. Yao Daniel Senyabreku says, even these days, almost all fuel stations tune into City FM every Saturday and Sunday to listen to Premier League commentary. Uh, I'm self station and Sumerian Control. Yeah. Yeah. Every Saturday. Charlie, Korea. you'll be shocked. Look, they know their schedule more than us. <laughs> <laughs> There's one B after Kaswa. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. The, after um, the Buduburam, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know where the new construction. Mm-hmm. Yes. After that, there's a shell filling station on the right side. Charlie, they don't miss again. <laughs> they, they know <laughs> him. <laughs> there's another station actually right behind Champion here. I've forgotten that. I think Zen. Or they yes, have yes, yes, Zen. Charlie, full blast. Full blast. The guy is having some meat pie and some, you know, drink, just chilling on the <laughs> Premier League on a Saturday. That's 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 the experience. I mean, we want to make sure that you are fully locked in from eleven 
up until around 7 30. that's the thing about premier league like when it starts it hasn't it almost doesn't finish yeah. like you are going on, and going on, and going on, on. and then like i said when we end matches on weekends mm-hmm. we'll give you a chance to vent because mm. sometimes the, the people want to vent like they want to they want to speak out yeah. those are some of my best yeah. moments yeah. in this seat like the things people <laughs> say about their teams oh my god <laughs> Anyway, Neder from Community Tema Community 25, yeah. he was saying that this is our year, Arsenal. I think he says this is Arsenal's year. Amen. The Arsenal. Amen. Wish year you well. Amen. Mm. Yeah. Um, this one says, Kojun Ketia, why are you this always talking about why are you always speaking bad about Chelsea? Has the transfer <laughs> window ended? <laughs> ah, it's, it's too, too much. much. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's pain. The guy's in pain. No, we are here, we are here for the people. Tell the people that you see their team. They are, they are, they are, we are here for the people. You see, you see, <laughs> truth hurts. That's mm. that's one of the phrases. Truth we are hurts. Here to like, absorb their frustration. You your team moved on from <laughs> Ancelotti, mm. Scolari, um Di Matteo, and then all of a sudden you move. It is a long list. You can't say. <laughs> <laughs> and they have moved into Graham Potter, Frank Lampard, Enzo Mar- If you Lampard can't see the, one and two. If, if the, see, if the signs are on the wall and it's you a can't long see list, it, man. Me, I, can, I can't help you. It's a long list. You don't want to. You don't want to do <laughs> Chelsea. You no, know, Chelsea, Charlie. It was always. I used to say it later that it was always going to come to this. Mm. Yeah, it's true. I remember you always said that. that it, it was like it was an artificial. Something right. that mm-hmm. it was going to come to, and this is not the worst. So. Oh, <laughs> because the 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 team no, Ogbu Ogbu <laughs> Ogbu did the team inside. <laughs> God, I know Ogbu. Oh, I also don't know Ogbu. Ogbu did the team inside. From that man. Who who bought the team? Can base can base. Oh my god! But for one pound or something. Yeah, but for a yep. pound, man. Well, he didn't buy it for a pound. Oh, literally, he, he yeah, yeah. paid one he pound. Paid one cash pound. One pound. After cash. all the things. talk, things, 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 things. No, you see the 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 evil that that man <laughs> brought to the team <laughs> is now. And then the woman that you people said, Ganovska, Canero, 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 Canero. Canero. <laughs> it, especially Spanish or Portuguese. Or some Bokusi she snaps. Tell it. He go do I be for like that. I say munye yeta. No, because Samez, no, you see, you might be laughing, no, but the, the moves the people are making, that's what it looks like. Oh, like is it like they look like they're under a spell? Like, I don't, I don't understand. Like no, they don't look like they actually <laughs> are. And, so, so you know, I meant to say Chelsea or more relegation. No, but this is not NC. NC. Yo, yo, yo we are here. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> but let me let me just chip in a quick one. So Richard Mensa, aka OJ, aka the first Manchester City fan of the land, says that we should let you know that the pig farm and new town stores are big Premier League listeners and patronizers of the Premier League. Thank so you. big shout outs to them. New town and pig farm stores. Nice big one. one. Charlie, but it's, isn't it? Is it? It's so real that um, you have Man City supporters, supporter yeah. base growing yeah. in Ghana. Ghana. Mm. Because I'm not so sure if even if it's growing in London. <laughs> Success. I mean, they win and nobody's on the streets. Yep. 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 <laughs> yep. Arsenal. Arsenal wins a major Premier League match. Yes. You have more people North on the London. than Man City winning the league. Yes. Yeah. Wow, that's that. No, that is true. I mean, that, there are a few traitors out there, like my friend Jacob, who left Arsenal to join City. I've never seen <laughs> no, he shouldn't come back. He should be there. He's very happy, Jacob. Jacob, so that now Jacob, now, actually. Jacob, so there are three of you now. So it's Richard Mensah, hey, Jacob, I will Prima Adunyami, <laughs> <laughs> and then Jacob. There are three of you. So they ran away, away from Arsenal. The to people who who so ran away. We will buy your T-shirt, no? Better they don't wear jersey. They wear T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> we'll buy a t shirt <laughs> and then leave it at the front as well. You can't collect, yeah. Oh, Wait with t shirts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, a couple more messages. Later. So, uh, Charlie, can you mention the number again? Yes. Uh, those who want to sponsor, who want to companies sponsor. who want to sponsor. So, we is... have companies. Look, it, it, we don't have restrictions to which categories of companies, right. you know. Is your money that will speak. That's all. Um, people in FMCG space, mm-hmm. yeah. um, um, paint manufacturers, right. um, people in the building industry, mm-hmm. you understand? Um, lots of artisans listen, listen. to True. the building. Yeah. True, yeah. true, yeah. true. They are uh, they are plastering the building. They, they are, are listening. listening. You go to building sites. They, they have listening. radio <laughs> and they are listening. They are listening from their phones. It's a, it's a wide 
space and opportunity for advertising. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So please come on board and let's make this thing real. Mm. Okay. So this is the number 0244. 578 Call us. Let's start talking. It's very, very important. Nathan, there are more messages actually. <coughs> All right. <laughs> this one says, What I love about, <laughs> I love about the comments that people send are the names of the text. Yeah. One that has stuck with me is Allow Cash, cash Out. <laughs> <laughs> how they, have, they have the nicest names. Sorry. Like, how, how people are able to string these names? The, the other day, I ran into. I, I ran into a bedroom Pep Guardiola. I ran into ah, watch your five cities shoot on Kwa. Ah, that be somebody. Yeah, that's somebody. Silence. Guy. No, silence. No lie. Decent guy. You would never. That's his nickname. Watch your five cities shoot on Kwa. I said, hey. <laughs> so these are their Twitter names. No, no their message. They, like, on the message board. Message, message, yes. the on the boss. message board. So there's all kinds of names. So somebody, a regular texter, is yes. bedroom Pep Guardiola. <laughs> <laughs> what is the meaning of such a name? That's why you're dribbling. Hey! <laughs> all right. John Sadobo and says, Keda, uh, please yes. tell Ben that he's... Uh -huh. He's one. He's one. He should leave Chelsea alone. <laughs> we don't need his advice. Uh, this one says, "Will you please? Will you increase the time to two hours for sports panorama?" Okay, so let, let's just do a quick clarification right. on that. So tonight, because mm. it's the opening day of the season, yeah. we are not doing sports panorama tonight. Okay. We are doing the Premier League. We are Full doing blown. the Man United versus Fulham game. So we'll give you. I mean, in between the analysis, we'll probably give you updates on transfers and things that interest you. But tonight, game it's a full Premier League seven. experience. Nice uh, this one says, uh, "I'm enjoying your Premier League uh, discussion." When I was in Ghana, I listened every Friday on my way home from work. I just loved these intelligent guys. Lately, I'm not able to listen because of the time difference. Mm. So well, I'm a try. I'm a Dubai. I'm a Dubai. I'm a in Dubai. I'm a try. You I'm can try. Dubai, you know, you can always find that. Um, this one says your road shows have never been in Kaswa. They say add it to your to your stops this season, please. Over to you, Jolati. I'm sure the member of parliament for the year will storm the place where you go there. Uh, Man City are not going to be lucky this year. Chelsea is going to hammer them with a carpenter's tool. A Jaya on North K. Says, welcome yeah, yeah. to a Man new season. has never won based on luck. So they don't need luck to do it. They play well. <laughs> Uh, Silo from Laboni says Nathan is as straightforward as ABC Man United is winning the Premier League this season period mm. okay. 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 Silo. Silo. Hey. Silo we're seeing something we haven't seen Silo. No, no no but I mean once ABC by itself is not straightforward you know that Ogba <laughs> Kobe Silo. Kobe Kobe in Hacho yeah. says we enjoy every bit of the Premier League he says it will be a pleasure if you drop codes for us. <laughs> Investors. Investor. Investor. <laughs> All right. Oh, good one there. <laughs>